this is the time of year, a lot of IT managers, directors, they go into this planning period where they basically go up to, to their management and start asking for a bunch of things that need to come in to the IT budget for next year. And then they walk into a boardroom with a wish list this long, and all of a sudden, by the time they come out, their wish list is often shrunk by 60, 70 percent, just because there's not a lot of money assigned for IT budgets. One thing we forget is that the business is heavily reliant on IT and the function and operations of IT. The minute that there is a compromise to that infrastructure, that will inevitably disrupt your business functions. So this is when an IT manager comes up to me and says, how do I fight for more budget? How do I go up to my upper management and ask them for more budget? There's a few ways you can do that. You can talk about regulatory compliance, which is often the fact when driving IT budgets. So when we talk about a top-down approach, regulatory compliance or laws will often drive a lot of the IT spend. We're seeing that more and more nowadays. When we're trying to secure more IT budget, there's a really compelling story that IT managers and IT directors need to tell to the upper management about the actual operations of the business and how important and how fundamental that properly supplying IT with budgets to continue to enable the business to run is very important. And without that basic funding and without the operations of that IT infrastructure and without securing it accordingly, that could be detrimental to your business in the long run. And oftentimes you need to really build a nice story so that your upper manager understands why you need that funding. It's a very difficult time of year for IT managers, IT directors to go in and justify the amount of spend they need for the upcoming year. 